which is there. Dang it. Okay, so I, I did this, so I go back. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Okay, so I got the crafting station. I can make two more craft, two more ch two chests. Wait, what's that say? Now that you have a ready supply of saplings, apples, and wood, what do you do? Well, the most obvious answer is to get more. And more. And more. But first you're going to need to make a chest to hold all your stuff in case the inevitable happens. Read, accidentally letting go of the shift key when building by an edge. Yeah, I am very, very familiar with that. Hence why this is the first uh, skyblock I have played in years. Put a log into your crafting grid to turn them into planks. Then use those planks to make a vanilla Minecraft crafting table. Put that back into your crafting grid to turn it into the Tinker's Construct. I mean, I already did that. You already saw that. Uh, and then turning planks into chests. I love blue. I really like the color blue. But holy crap. Is it at all easier to see here okay that's so I really like the other background but in order to read the blue I got to do this okay Tinker's construct crafting station will allow you to keep items in the block even if you leave it yes that is very very true so now I need to pick this up Wait, I'll just make a, make a couple chests first. And chests, if you are not familiar, are eight planks in a circle there. So there's my two chests. Just use my book to beat my crafting table. Got that. All right. Oh, now I can pick up the furnace. Now that you have a crafting station, it's time to make a furnace. Placing eight cobblestone along the borders of the crafting GUI, you'll be able to make a furnace. You can then turn wood logs into charcoal, but you are required to have fuel. Two sticks will serve as fuel for the smelting of one item, Ugh. and as a good way of limiting how many items can be smelted at a time. That sucks! I used it took an entire log to make one frickin' charcoal. Ow, that hurt. A piece of charcoal will smelt eight items at a time, but sometimes you only want to smelt a single item, and that's where sticks come into play. For now, however, you will want to smelt 16 wood logs into charcoal. Turn some of those pieces of charcoal into torches by combining them with sticks. You can now light up your base and prevent mobs spawning at night. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my furnace. Wait. Yeah, gotta pick up my furnace. What was, what else did I have here? Cause I think I saw a tool. Well, that's for the tools. We're going to go back. Oh, there's the slabs. Ooh, for food. Hmm. Well, it's not like cobblestone's difficult to come by. We'll see if this actually breaks it or if I need to go down the rest of the path and, to, and get this. Come on. Well, it's not like I wasn't expecting that. So, put you back down, make another furnace. I will have to have a pick in my inventory to do that. Okay. Ew. I have to make 16 charcoal. Yay. 
All right, back to twerking my little butt off. Oh. Wait, can I make an axe? I want an axe. That makes everything so much faster. Yay, I can make an axe. Oh, no, I can... Wait, yes, no. Yes, I want to do that. Wait, do I want to do that? I think I want to do that. Hmm. Because I need to have a place to put all of my crafty crap. And do I want to just use regular cobblestone or do I want to use slabs and make my cobblestone go farther? Because I could replace all of this later with slabs to make my cobblestone go farther. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to make an I Yes, I realize I was a doorknob by not making a pick when I wanted to pick up my first furnace. Absolute doorknob. I, I, I cannot deny it. So I'm going to pick these up as much as I can. And oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yay. Okay. I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to make slabs and extend. And I hope to God, you know, I better put a chest down so I don't lose all my crap. I will come back for you all later. Yeah, we'll do that. Just in case, upper slabs decide to bone me as well. Oh, good, good. They don't. So like I mentioned before, I, well, several times, I have not really played much in the way of skyblocks. So if anybody has constructive suggestions on how to build in a skyblock, I'm open to them. Because I'm not the best builder to begin with. And that's on a normal world that I don't have to see giant patterns and I can just randomly place stuff. So if you have suggestions on how to build a nice looking skyblock area, let me know. I'll put the Twitter information in the, you know, in the gobbledygook below. And I'll put it, it, any of the other contact information that we have down there and we'll see what comes from it. What am I doing? Okay, I've got nine. We'll do this. Need more slaps. Oop, need to cut the tree down. 
That is going to be so annoying. There we go. Whoop, whoop. No, no, don't jump. <coughs> that away just in case, just on its own. <laughs> that in there, so now I have a couple freebie things. Okay, sneaking, sneaking. Do that. Oh, that works. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm a risk taker there. Okay, building, building. Okay, I think that's going to be wide enough, so now we need to go deeper. And yes, I know upper slabs like this are spawnable for mobs. That is a risk I'm just going to have to take because I, I hate the, the variance when you try to place objects on top of the lower slabs and then you because you have to use an actual cobblestone in place of it or a second slab on top and then everything just the dimensions just irk me and so I'm just going to use torches and make it uh, top slabs and just protect myself with torches that that's all I'm gonna do later I may change it again I don't know okay So that's that's not terrible. That's I mean, having a torch there is really really tacky. But I'm not going to really complain much, much. Okay, so I'm gonna move all of this and move all of this over there. Probably put slab down for around the tree instead. So we're gonna do that and that and that. Eh. Yes, because I do everything in odd numbers. Oh. <sighs> Something I've got to learn to get away from. Okay. There's that, there's that. I need to twerk my way through some more wood. Because I need to make charcoal for <coughs> that quest. Twerk it, twerk it. Oh, that was convenient. Yay. So 
So also something that's going to be really important to note, because I do have a full-time job, and this particular job has me working in the evenings, so I don't get home until usually sometime between 11.30 and midnight. And then, of course, I want to spend time with Synthrassi. We have dinner when I get home. We watch some YouTube or Hulu or something, and then we go to bed. I love sleep. I sleep a lot. So, long story, when I do make these videos, I will usually be making, playing long enough and making two or three at a time, just because during the week, I don't have time to sit, make videos, edit, render them, in addition to all of the IRL stuff that unfortunately is part of being a grown-up. That and I'm still learning the editing software that I've picked for what we're doing. And that takes a lot of my time as well. So just be aware. Uh, I will always be willing and looking for constructive criticisms because like I said, this is not this kind of a pack is not something I am really greatly familiar with. And so if you have thoughts, let me know. But I only want constructive criticism. And as we go forward, we'll just kind of play around with it. Really, my goal is to use this to learn more about Forestry Beast 2. Because I'm not that great at it. Usually, I jump into Gendistry or something like that just because forestry bees are such a grind. Such a grind. But I love the beautiful wood that you can get from it and only from it. So, we'll just kind of see where things go. And also, just so you're aware, Synthrassi and I, we do, like I said, stream at least, I stream with him as I talk with my hands here and nobody can see it. I stream with him usually once a week. We have uh, a server, a private server, with the uh, Pioneers mod pack that we're kind of playing on. One of our close friends she is on the server with us but it's only going to be the three of us on the server so don't ask for an invite please later on once uh, once we've been doing this a while we'll look into trying to have like a patron server or something uh, but yeah once a week usually Mondays Sen and I stream together. He streams at other times during the week, other games. He's currently playing Kerbal Space Pro... Yeah, KSB, Kerbal Space Program. His choice of games is a little more varied than my own. Chiefly because... 
I am a product of the 80s. I got my very first console was a regular Nintendo. Uh, somewhere around 1990 when it was still fairly big. And I have not managed to really move past that kind of game. I love the side-scrollers. They are my absolute favorite. Unfortunately, we don't have many side-scrollers like that in existence anymore. 